Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to Eloquent English Classes and I am Jyoti. Dear students, I want you to watch my videos very carefully and till the end so that you get maximum benefit out of it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Today we shall discuss the verb. So let's get started. A verb is a word that tells or asserts something about a person or thing. It is the most important word in a sentence. In very simple words, I should say that whatever we do, whatever like sing, dance, act, play, cry, anything we do is called a verb. In Hindi, we call it Kriya. So a verb is a word that tells or asserts something about a person or thing means it tells something about a person or a thing. It is the most important word in a sentence, very important word in a sentence. Let's understand what is a verb with the help of these examples. Amrita sings a song. What does Amrita do? She sings a song. So, sing is a verb here. Kavir plays piano. What does Kavir do? He plays piano. So, plays is a verb here. Mohit kicks the ball. So, what does Mohit do? He kicks the ball. So, kicks is a verb here. Sunidhi teaches English. What does Sunidhi do? She teaches English. So, teaches is a verb here. I have completed my project. What I have done? I have completed my project. So, completed is a verb here. Understood? Now, classes of verbs. Students, you must have heard helping verb. Usually, we teachers keep on saying um, use correct helping verb. Isn't it? So, the verbs are have two classes that is auxiliaries or we can, in other words we can say helping verbs and another is ordinary verbs helping verbs we all know is a mar was were has have had will would shall should can could all these are called helping verbs ordinary verbs means all other verbs like sing, play, dance, act, cook, perform, break, launch, open, perform, everything, any verb is called an ordinary verb. Now types of verbs. Please don't confuse with classes of verb and types of verb. These are main types of verbs. Transitive and intransitive. Let's understand them in detail. Meaning of transitive. Transitive means passing over. When action passes over from subject to object is called transitive verb. Now before this we must know what is a subject, verb and object in a sentence. Let's understand this first. Mother is cooking food. Now, mother is the subject. She is the doer of the action. She is doing the action, isn't it? Cooking is the action. What is she doing? She is cooking. So, mother is the subject. Cooking is the verb. And what is she doing? She is making food. She is cooking food. Food is the object. Mother is the subject. Cooking is verb. And food is object. Subject, verb, object. When the action passes over from the subject to object, we call it transitive verb like this. Mother is cooking food. The action is passing over from the subject that is mother to the object that is food. And action is cooking. This is called transitive verb. In transitive verb, action passes over from the subject to the object. 
the driver stop the bus can you tell me what is the verb here yes stopped is a verb here and subject the driver is the subject and bus is the object here you can see the action is passing over from the subject to the object and the action is stopped so this is transitive verb similarly in the next sentence child broke the toy now child is a subject broke is a verb and toy is a object here also we can say the action is passing over from the subject that is broke action from the subject to the object so this is transitive verb the viewers appreciated the performance the viewers viewers is a subject and appreciated is verb here also we can say the action is passing over from the subject to the object that is transitive verb the scientist launched the satellite scientist is the subject and launch is the launched is the verb and the this uh, verb passing over from the subject to the object that is satellite so this is called transitive verb so what we have learned that in transitive verb the action passes over from the subject to the object is it is it clear beta now meaning of intransitive another type is intransitive verb in intransitive verb the action does not pass over in very simple words there is no object in intransitive verb there is no object it's only a state birds fly birds fly birds is a subject and fly is a verb there is no object the action is not passing over it's not passing over it's not passing over from the subject to the object there is no object so this is intransitive verb child plays plays is a verb here and here also we can see there is no object it's a state so this is intransitive verb the horse walks horse is a subject walk is verb but there is no object again this is intransitive verb the fire burns fire is a subject burns is verb but there is no object that's why the action is not passing over from subject to object therefore this is intransitive verb the plate broke the plate is a subject broke is a verb but there is no object so this is again intransitive verb so what we have learnt is that in transitive verbs the action passes over from the subject to the object whereas in intransitive verb the action does not pass over from the subject to the object there is no object so that's all and i hope you have understood thank you very much